In this video, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to create ourselves a flat design of a truck, just like the one you can see on your screen at the moment. To get started on making this truck, we're going to go up to the File menu in Illustrator, select New, choose the Web Templates, and we're going to stick with a 1280 by 1024 pixel document. And we'll click Create. First thing I want to do is grab the Rectangle tool from our toolbox, and we're going to come over to the Properties and change the Fill Color. Now you need a bright yellow, okay, so in your swatches you could choose a bright yellow or you come over to your color mixer here and just play around so you get a fairly bright yellow. Now the yellow I'm chasing is FFC929, so you can type in your own hexadecimal code if you'd like. Um, you need to turn the stroke off next, so we don't want to border around our background, so just choose the white box with the red line through it. Alrighty, so we're now ready to put our background in, so start in the top left corner, click and drag down to the bottom right corner, and just throw that yellow background on. In your Layers panel, expand Layer 1, and I want you to lock this rectangle layer simply by clicking in this empty box here next to the eye. A little padlock appears once you've locked it. Now we're ready to get started on drawing the truck, and we're going to start with the cabin at the front where the driver sits. We will be using our rectangle tool for this. In our properties, we need to change the fill color over to white. And the rectangle that you need to draw doesn't have to be too big. It's got to just fit on the left-hand side of the page. Something like that is what I'm looking for. Okay, now that's the start of the cabin. What I want to do next is put a windscreen in on a bit of an angle that runs from about this halfway mark up to about that halfway mark up there. Okay, so basically cutting this section away. Now, the easiest way to do that, I think, is to grow, grab your pen tool here. Hold your mouse down on it and choose the second option, Add Anchor Point Tool. It's got a little plus sign next to the pen. Once you've got this little pen with the plus sign selected, we're going to hover over the left-hand edge or side of this rectangle. As you work your way down the left-hand side, when you get near halfway, you'll see this pink guide pop up and say Intersect. Okay, that's the one there I'm looking for, actually. That shows me that it's level with halfway. So there's the center point. Come straight across, following that pink guide. I just want you to click your mouse once. And that adds a little square there, which is an anchor point. Okay, and that's where we're going to start to curve this windshield from. So now with your direct selection tool, your white arrow, come back down to the cabin and click on the top left-hand corner of this rectangle. Now hold shift on your keyboard and press the right arrow key 13 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, whoops, went too far, there we go, 13. And you'll get yourself a bit of an angle like that. And that's what I'm looking for, that's going to be our windscreen. Now to make it look a bit more realistic, we're going to put a window in this section up here. So we're going to need to get our rectangle tool back. Make sure you clicked off everything at the minute so we can change our fill colour. Now I'm going to stick with the colour mixer option here and I'm going to choose my own fill colour for the window. It's going to be the code 8DD2B5. Press enter and you see you get like a light aqua color. Now the window is going to start halfway down the cabin. So we need to find that center point again just by hovering our mouse around. And you can see the center. And we're going to come over to the right hand side of the cabin now. And we're going to click and drag this rectangle up. Probably up to about, I'd say about there. So we still have a little bit of white space up the top here and a little bit down the left. And that's our window right there. Now using our direct selection tool again, we're going to click on the top left corner of this window. Hold shift and press the right arrow key until it matches our windscreen here. We've got the same sort of angle going on there. Okay. Now inside of that uh, window, we're going to put a reflection using the rectangle tool again. And again, we'll have to change the fill color. So let's type in another code, this time C-C-E-B-D-C. It's just a lighter version of this color we've already got. And I'm going to just move to the right a little bit and draw in a rectangle like so. Yeah, I'll just nudge it back over a little bit. Okay, so there's the window on our truck. That's looking pretty good, so I'm happy with that cabin now. What we need to draw in next is the base of the truck, and then we're going to put the, um, the tray on the back. Okay, so let's grab our rectangle tool again and pop over to our fill color. 
the base of this truck we want to make a like a really dark green so I'm going to go zero zero five six five seven for the color you can see the dark green we've got there now now it needs to start just a little bit in front of the cabin and it comes all the way across towards the end of the page it doesn't need to be thick it should only be fairly small probably about there is a good spot to drop it okay so that's going to be the base of our truck now to draw the tray on the back okay i'm going to use my rectangle tool yet again change the fill color to a bright red now the red i'm going to use is code f30541 press enter you can see the nice bright red we've got and it's going to start right at the top of the cabin here in the top right corner I'm going to click drag down not right to the end of that base just near the end is where we want to put it okay so just got a little bit of um, green hanging over the end there and also over the front all right so that's looking pretty good so far for our base um, what we might do is put a little section on top as well before we go any further I'll just zoom in a bit here and show you how we do this using our rectangle tool still I'm going to start oh, about halfway along that reflection I'd say and we're just going to draw across a little rectangle like so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to add another anchor point by the looks of things so let's add another anchor point using that add anchor point tool halfway along this shape so you just click on that midpoint and a little anchor point appears now we're going to need to add one more by the looks of things as well sorry i'm just trying to work out how to do this we're going to keep this add anchor point tool and hover around where the white and the red intersect just here and i'm going to click again there now using my direct selection tool i should be able to pick up this bottom corner so I'm going to click once on this left hand bottom corner of this red little block I've drawn and I'm just going to drag that up to the halfway mark to that new anchor point we just made before and you'll get a little shape that looks like that alrighty now what we can do is actually combine this big red tray with this little red shape here okay and the way we do that is we just select both of those while holding shift grab our shape builder tool from our toolbox and simply click and drag over both shapes and now that's one big red shape all right on the back of the truck I also want to put in a little bit of a pattern just to make it um I guess give the image a bit more depth so we're going to need the rectangle tool again and we're going to make a darker red this time for our fill color so the color is going to be C um, yeah C60033 and you can see we've got a darker fill color now Zooming back in a little bit here, I want the um, I want these to start probably just around the same height as the window, and I'm just going to click and drag out one of these designs. There we go, something like that. Now you need to make sure that that's centered on the truck. Probably looking pretty good about there. So you've got the same amount of red space up the top, beneath, and on the left hand side there. Alrighty. Now once we've got that in, we're going to put a little shadow at the top of this. So we grab our rectangle tool again. Just make sure you click off everything before you change the fill color. When you do change the fill color, you want it to be black. We'll zoom in a bit here and we're just going to click in the corner and come across to the other side and change its opacity to 20%. Okay, that's just a little shadow that's being added onto that design. All right, so I'm going to group both of these two shapes together. So simply hold shift and click on both of them. Right click and group them. And we can now duplicate this design. So I'm going to hold alt and click and drag across and also hold shift. We want five of these. So just keep holding alt, dragging across and holding shift. So they're all perfectly in line with one another. When you get to the last one, I want you to hold shift again and select all five of those different designs. Go to your window menu and select align. And we want to horizontally distribute the center. Okay, that just evenly spaces all of these out. Mine were almost spot on straight away, so you didn't see much movement, but it actually did space them just a little bit different, so they're all evenly spaced apart. 
All right, so that's our tray looking good. We've just got the wheels to go now, and we are done with our truck. So let's head down the bottom here to our wheels. We obviously need an ellipse tool or the circle tool for that, so hold your mouse down on the rectangle tool and grab your ellipse tool. And from here, we're going to just change our fill and stroke colors. Okay, now the stroke color we want for this first circle. We're actually going to do two circles to make these wheels work. The first one, though, the stroke color we want is basically the same as this um, base that we've got on the truck here. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my... Um, color mixer here and type in that exact color. So that is from memory 005657. Looks right, and we'll make it about size 10. And the fill color, what we're going to do for that is make it a fairly dark green. Um, so that will be 003638. I think we've got that right. Let me draw a wheel and we'll check it out. So we're going to draw basically um, somewhere in the middle of this front cabin section. Okay, so hover around the middle then. You'll see a little pink line come up to show when you've got your guides bang on. We're going to hold Alt and then we're going to hold Shift when we start dragging out. So that'll draw a circle out from the center of our mouse where we're clicking. And it's also going to be a perfect circle if we hold Shift. Okay, so we are looking for something like that. Now we're going to draw another circle in the middle of it there to finish that wheel off. So grab your circle tool again, or your ellipse tool there. We're going to change the fill color. Fill color needs to, needs to be like a light gray. So it's going to be 88A4A8. Press enter. The stroke this time is just going to be pure white. And again, we'll leave it at 10 point for now. If we need to change it, we will. Now, come over to your first wheel and find that center point. Hold Alt, and then start clicking and dragging out, and then hold Shift. Okay, now you want to have something looking roughly like that. So I'll zoom in so you can see my tire, how it's looking. Now, we should be able to, if we've done all things right here, click on that, and then the outer circle and just press Control g to group them together. You could right-click on them as well and choose Group. What we're going to do now is just click on this with our Selection Tool, hold Alt and Shift, and just move it over somewhere towards the back. Okay, so we want to just have that wheel somewhere near the back of the truck, like so. And that looks like we are done. So that's how you create a flat-design truck in Illustrator.